Hi, this is Curtis with New York Freedom Rally. I'm here with Svi. How are you doing this evening? How's it going? What brings Hi. you What brings you to uh, Ben's home? Um, we just had a very beautiful event here. Uh, we talked about Hashem, people's connection to Hashem, and how it relates to today, what we're going through. Okay. Now, you were telling me a little backstory that you come from a refusing family and that you saw early on the signs of the COVID uh, protocols, that this was very close to what you experienced in Russia. Do you want to elaborate a little bit about that? I mean, I was a little kid, but my parents, what they gave over to me, what they experienced in the Soviet Union, I mean, like everything we've been seeing for the past two years is just like a out of the playbook, if you want to say of of uh, what was going on in the Soviet Union or pretty much any tyrannical regime but this is something that my parents saw uh, with the KGB literally up close and personal and it was just the same tactics the same you know slogans and mantras and, and methods and anything you want to any way you want to categorize it that it was like word for word you know play for play you know we have so much information out there really at our fingertips this abundantly amount of information yet people are still refusing to see what is actually happening here there's such a level of cognitive cognitive dissonance that it's 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 mind-boggling what do you attribute that cognitive dissonance to um i think it's interesting if, you, if anybody saw um actually a kgb agent uh Yuri bismenov spoke about this he was talking about how like people it, it took these guys years there were people here in this country who you know 20 or 30 years they were working on just over time demoralizing people and demoralizing them and over and it got to like a new generation by the time these kids get out of high school let's say they get to college they can't even accept real and like he says real and true information to the point where like and i found this to be true myself like where i find myself inundating people with documents and 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 real things coming out of official sources and people can't even think straight they can't even they can't even process the information they can't uh critical critical thinking mm -hmm. you know it doesn't mean anything to them you know they're just and some people just said i can't i physically cannot and some people like a friends of mine tell me you just live your life and i said well listen in order to live your life you need to have a life to physically be alive to live it first and foremost you know so people just can't does not compute and it's yeah. What do you tell people who, uh, I call them the sleeping lions, who intuitively feel that something is off, but for the fear of professional reasons or being doxxed or what have you, what do you tell those people? Well, I would say, first of all, we have to strengthen those people. And I would say, listen, at the end of the day, it's what Ben said today at the event. Ultimately, everything you think is real, I, I hate to kind of a, be a brick over somebody's head, uh, it's an illusion. You know, you think your job is real. You think all the stuff out there is real. You think, uh, you know, you want to go to the movie theater. Like in Israel, people wanted to get the Tav Yorok, the green pass, just so they could see Spider-Man, so they got a shot. You're doing this not for your health because of whatever it is. Um, I would tell people, th think about what's real um, and think about where what you're going to, you know, years down the line, you're going to say, oh, my God, like, what was I thinking about? reality what, what was i thinking when i when i went and did this or when i when i complied with the even so much forget about taking anything in your body just complying with something something as simple as just like somebody tells you to put something on or go mm -hmm. somewhere can't go somewhere think about uh yeah think about what's real to you what means anything to you what is meaning you know it's uh victor frankl the guy that survived uh the holocaust he wrote a book man's search for meaning people realize that at the end of the day it's not about their job or their this or their that. It's just about s just living and surviving and what what's really meaningful out there. So. Amen. How do you feel about vaccine mandates? Um, I mean, listen, it's... Um, I, have, I have friends who, who, who somehow in their minds have managed to decouple, and I can't even understand how, the people um, who are pushing the product and and the and the mandates versus the product itself they say the product is works and is good but the people pushing it and the way that they're pushing it is bad and they disagree but by me it's like the 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 salesman informs the product if i go to a car, car dealership and the guy's telling me well i say maybe i want a car maybe i don't and he's putting a gun to my head and i say and i say like well there's a problem here or like the thing's a lemon i go check the you know the vin number and the, there's a lemon laws where the guy the things in the flood come on come on come on come on buy it buy it buy it what's wrong with you what's wrong with you what's wrong with you it's a problem i, I can't decouple those two things you know and where can we find you on social media um i have a facebook page largely shadow banned but it's called the nation of israel um i have a youtube page also called the nation of israel rumble the nation of israel and uh yeah that's that's where i'm at
Twitter also, but I'm, not, I'm, a, I'm more kind of incognito on Twitter. So, yeah. Perfect. Thanks for your time. Awesome. This is Sri and Curtis with New York Freedom Rally.